Okay, how's your ring in gap? <laughs> tight. Or and I, I, how's your ring gap? Race, is, race that too, is that too tight? <laughs> That's what happens when you have a 103 pan head that detonates like crazy. It collapses the piston down and makes the ring tight. Yeah, it's race shit. So it's a little snug on the exhaust side. So, how are we going to fix this quickly? If I had my fingernail file out and I was filing on a little bit, do not file on the bottom groove, file on top of the groove because the ring seals on the bottom. It needs to be a smooth finish. The top of the ring doesn't matter, or the top of the groove. So his piston needs to be opened up. It appears to be a little snug right there. So how are you going to fix this? Wire wheel. Wire wheel. So this wasn't working adequately because it's not sharp enough. It's not taking out enough material fast enough. Now if we go over to this file over here, Too thick. Oh, yeah. it's a little more aggressive, yeah. we might do the trick. <laughs> oh yeah. But see this one's a lot finer than this one. The other option, we go over there putting a lathe over there, and we can hold it right here, and then we can turn it down and cut this edge where my thumb is, not the bottom. And you can square the piston back up so it'll actually work correctly. And of course dumbass put it in backwards and hit. <laughs> Because he didn't realize that the piston had a big cutout for the piston to come down like this. It's clear. So when it comes down like this, it goes boom. So was that on the fifth kick you did that? Or the fifth kick? <laughs> it, was, it was on the bench. It was I on the bench, oh, yeah. you didn't kick it at all? No. Here. So we're going to try to do it with a coarser file <clears throat> because I don't feel like working all night jigging up your stupid piston to make it work. Hey, it's trying its best. Okay, this appears to be the tight spot over there <clears throat> on the exhaust side. Might be too tight. So why is it tight there? Because it's a race motor. Because the detonation is the same as hitting with a big ass sledgehammer. Race sledgehammer. That's right. This is not going to work very good either. because you can't really hold it flat. Okay. So I'm going to wind up in live anyway, but... Well, let's not fuck that bottom lip up. I'm hitting the high spots with something. Or maybe I'm just digging in the other groove. In that yeah, that's what I think. But I'm not filing on the other groove. I might just be hitting on it. Just rounding it off a little? Yeah, chamfering the edge. <laughs> and a sharp edge on it. Now this is kind of crap you do at the racetrack when you got nothing to do. But you do have your fingernail file with it. If it takes three hours to do the job without file, that's what you do because we want to go racing. Let's throw it in a lathe. See how it's a little bit better it was there. Still a little sticky. It's still sticky, but it's right there. See, it's high. Mm -hmm. It drops back down. See, we've improved it. Be the high, the high spot. This might not be in the Harley service manual. Huh? <laughs> Piston. They would probably recommend buying a new one. Yeah, fuck them. God, it's giving me anxiety. <laughs> so you're supposed to have clearance in there too. See how it goes over a high spot? <clears throat> now I might get a couple comments about this.
This is not the 10,000 mile repair we're doing here. <laughs> it's a 5,000 mile repair. If you're lucky. <laughs> stick anymore just gonna burn oil like a motherfucker <laughs> as long as it's still sealed you're fine it's still tight through here now when it warms up it'll stick again and not work and the ring won't be happy the ring has to have clearance to work I feel like we're just going to end up in the lathe. No. <clears throat> Not everybody has a lathe at home. <laughs> or the tooling to do it. <laughs> This is like fucking last hope. Hitting your piston with a fucking file. That's right. I'm going for the ultra fine finish too. Oh, oh yeah. You don't have any sharp edges on there. Roughness. This replaces the uh, break in period, right? Yeah. Smoother is on this side. Uh, yeah, because you didn't fuck that side. Hey, who's swearing on my video? Oh, sorry. No, you're not. <laughs> Family friendly. Mm -hmm. Go ask your Harley Tech if that's the way you do it. <laughs> <laughs> when you work tomorrow, you can ask him. Is this the correct way of doing this? You know that Clint told me that uh, hey, where, an oh sorry, when uh, where those little holes were, and I put it backwards. You get holes. He said it? a man under a shady tree would say to file that down. <laughs> Are you that man? <clears throat> so see your ring here. See that's real shiny on this side. Mm -hmm. It's kind of dull on this side. Mm -hmm. That means this is the upper side because all the pressure is on this side. You also see it has a dot right there, so you know it's. That's how it's supposed to be also. We're going to reuse it? Oh no, we're just testing it. Well, if you're at the track, what are you going to do? Well, I'm not at the track. Did you have an extra set of rings laying around your back pocket? Tatro machine, San Diego. Oh, that was a part of my thumbs. Hey, if you're at the track, you're at the track. You do what you got to do. There you go, you like that? Is that better than it was? Oh, yeah. That ring's good to go. Ready for the track? The ring's hardly even broken in yet. Jeez, <laughs> good to go. <laughs> Told you it's got like 4,000 miles on it. There you go. Perfect. That's how you fix a ring. See, look, it doesn't stick anymore. See, that's nice and free. Yeah, a little high spot right there. I think that's the ring, though. Yeah, maybe not. It'll wear in the next 20,000 miles. After the fifth rebuild? Yeah. There you go, that's how you do it. Good to go. So these are what standard? Four. Three and five A's? Are these metric rings or are these American rings? I don't know. How Hope is, American. How old is this motor? S and S. I don't know, 2010. The metric rings. You have to go back about 30 years to get to the American rings. <laughs> Yeah, it's 1.3 millimeter. Open this thing's off. This caliper is not very accurate right now. Can't you reset it? 
shouldn't have to reset it. So that's why it's over here in the junk pile. Grab the file. Do you know, how to, do you how to know fix to, a bad caliper. Do you know how to reset the file? Do you know how to reset this? <laughs> is there a reset button? There is a reset button. Do you know where it is? Is it that green button? This one here says on. Is it the yellow button? Oh, yeah. Probably a trick for doing it, though. What happens if you just press it? I am pressing it. You're holding it. Push it three times. Right. How many times do you go like that and make sure it works? Ten. No, it's negative five <laughs> now. It's off by half a tenth. Okay, these are not metric. These are 76, 77. These are old ass rings. See, new pistons have 16th rings on them. These ones have 330s. Or, um, what is it, 564s? S and S. Keep it in American. So these have big fat ass rings in here. Oh, yeah. So you think I have some big fat ass rings laying around? Oh, yeah. For 3 and 5 ace bore? I hope so. <laughs> After you bent my rings all up. Eighty-five pounds. I bet you this caliper's worn out. Because according to I got eighty-four minus seventy-seven is how much? I wasn't listening. What was that? So it's got seven thousand side gap in the uh, I don't that's know what that why, means. That's why I bought the new caliper. <laughs> because it's not as worn out as the old one is. We're still 76 and a half. Okay. Now if you can't add your math, you, you put your zero right there. And you go over here to wherever the ring gap is. What's the clearance? Hmm? What's the clearance? Ten thousand. One thousand. One thousand, sorry. It's a little tight. One thou. Maybe that's why the ring was it wasn't too happy. See it was tied on the exhaust side, which is over here. This is where I was filing over here. It's got half, half of that. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta work to get the half right there. <laughs> it's a little snug. <laughs> that might be a little snug. <laughs> So with heat, when you heat this up to four to five hundred degrees, how much do you think you're gonna lose? Half a thousand. Hopefully not more than that. <laughs> this will lock up. It'll be a problem. Okay, so we need some rings. Where's your rings at? I'm pretty sure we're gonna be reusing these. I'm pretty sure we're gonna be reusing these. Oh jeez. Because I don't think I have any rings in here. <laughs> it's still recording. Well, all right. Take a tour. We built a dam. Energy block. See right here. <laughs> Three and five eighths, thirteen sixteenths, and four inch. Oh, yeah. Just gotta brush the dust off. With dust. <laughs> yeah, right. Sixteen. It's from ninety nine. See sixteenth, 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 sixteenth. These are sixteenth inch ones. So if you go way in the back and back here, and you read what the old boxes have on them. 4.2 millimeter O-rings. Metric. One and a half millimeter wide compression ring. You know what one and a half millimeter is? No. Roughly 60 thousand. And I'm the foreigner, I didn't even know that. That means it's not thick enough. So these are all 22 numbers, these are 21 numbers, so what's a 22 number? 22 number is different than a 21 number. So these are either bigger bore, <coughs> or... 
Ooh. Through the thick ring. That's right. Ten over though. We're so you're looking for, so you're looking for a fifty seven twenty two piston, right? <clears throat> it's a good thing we're almost out of those. And see the fifty seven twenty one ring is a sixteenth ring. Now these ones way over here. These boxes don't look that old. So these are not going to be the ring we want. See, it's 58 thou ring. That's metric. 62 would be American. Uh, that's another 56 thou ring. So these appear to be uh, the wrong rings. 56. <coughs> What's this other box sitting here? 5 thou. Weisco ring. Ooh, these are X rings. Oh yeah. Those are 16s. Those are skinny. Do you know what that means? I'm fucked. Let me just swear on my oh, video. Sorry. <laughs> Dumbass. That means we're gonna have to use 10 over rings. Not that 10 we'll over. Just grind them this down. 10 over. Like we do on every single we'll rebuild to, I do with They'll have to be filed to fit. <laughs> And see, these are sold per piston, not per motor. See how they're taped together? Mm -hmm. I think every single rebuild I've done with you, we've had to file them down. They're always 10 over. Now, how much filing are you going to have to do? 10 thou. 10 thou times pi. That's at least 11 thou. That's at least 30 thou. Oh. Or you reuse the ones you got, which are probably just fine. Because you just barely broke it in. Age hardened. What about the dual rectangular headlights over there in the package that are from the 70s? Oh my god. Yeah, but that's on the top of your pile, Tatra. Like that <laughs> hasn't moved since 99. That's in my retail sale there. That, that's the <laughs> hot area. <there. laughs> that's for the premium products. Oh now. yeah. Oh yeah. Wait, where's that pager system? <laughs> Where's the pager? Where's that? Oh, it's gone. It's right there. I don't see it. It's right in front of me. Right in front of me. Right in front of me. I don't it's see it. Long. I don't see it. Oh, no, it's not that. <laughs> These are hot items. <laughs> oh, that's ready to go. <laughs> oh my god. What's the year on that? <laughs> Does it even have it? Did they have years? Did they use the date system back then? Whose tags? Whose name's on the tag? Harley Davidson. You're blowing up too much. Oh. What year is that bike? Custom Chrome. <laughs> Old. Oh my god. There has to be a date on there somewhere. Where did that come from? Harley Davidson. Mm -hmm. This was from Harley. Premium products. Harley was trying to sell this at one time. <laughs> Genuine. This is from a dealer. Yeah, it comes She's with the pager. Harley that's, label on it. Yeah. yeah. That's a hot item right now. <laughs> we need that. Look at, look at that. Oh my that's God. That's a pager in case oh, you know what yeah. it is. Check out that alarm system there. That's top notch. This is Nandy. Yeah, they might even talk about how important this is if you read it enough. There's that a fitment code. There you go. Oh, These are some valuable items. Just think how much I can get for this now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Vintage. That's vintage. Items. Oh, yeah. That's collector's stuff. Right? <laughs> oh, there's no date. Made in Korea. Korea? Quality. We'll put that right up next to our military grease can up here. What year is that from? Oh, yeah. Premium products. Mm-hmm. All right. I think you should just put this thing right back in the service. Oh, jeez. You run the snot out of it. Don't give a squat about it. I do give a squat. However bad the rings are. Why don't we just do the 10 over and just file them? Because you have to file them down 30 something dollars to get the ring out. Yeah, that ain't that much. That's quite a bit. When you start squeezing the ring, it doesn't always go around. You know? Yeah, yeah. Every time we do the 10 over, wait, we've done like 5 over rings. And whenever I set them up or get them in the cylinders, oh, it's such a. It's a son of a gun. Yeah, See that? Like, it looks perfect. It's up to you. You want me to put them in there? I'll put them in there. I don't know. What do you think? I think you need to sell this whole motor and go build them. I already told you. I've been trying to sell it to you. You don't want to buy it. It's mint. I ran it last summer, I swear. So who wants to buy a 103 pan hit top end with crank? 20, 2,500 bucks. Or I mean 2,500 miles.
And twenty five hundred bucks too, probably, right? Yeah. Like a mile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get a brand new S and S crank with it. Mm-hmm. Ported, polished heads, flowed heads. Oh yeah. Keeping the heads. Roller rockers. I'll just sell the whole fucking motor. You can. <laughs> oh, we're trying to sell the whole motor. I mean, flipping uh, motor. I thought you were gonna just put another ninety six into it. I want to. We don't need the Except piston to go to Suka, fix our or build. the crankshaft. Which way is this one in here? This was in this direction. Trick is to only bend the rings mildly. The trick is to bend the rings, you expand and put it over the piston, not wrap it. If you wrap it, it doesn't work. So now these rings will work again. Oh, nice that is. Nice one. These ones aren't as loose as those. Yeah. <laughs> Just file them real quick. These are broken in here. Oh, yeah. That's your 500 miles right there. See, these ones have more. These have carbon in them still. Ew. <clears throat> so I would put that thing right back together, and you're just going to run the snot out of it anyway, so what's the difference? We rehone the cylinder, so it'll re break the ring in again. The extra roughness will re, -re break the ring in. You don't run the piss out of it like you're going to do it anyway. You're not going to baby this thing anyway. You run the thing in detonation so damn bad you collapse the piston. <laughs> I didn't know such thing. Yeah. Came like that. You know how much pressure it takes to collapse a forged piston? At least like 50 PSI. You could put a ton of nitrous oxide in that motor before that happened. <laughs> I know that for a fact. I know how to ride. Maybe I don't so, know how to ride. Man, don't know how to tune. Put it back together what it is. So did I get you the MLS head gasket for it? Yeah, I still got them. You can see how the copper gasket was not sealing very well. Mm -hmm. Especially right where the oil hole is. Yeah, I know. That's where the gasket on the bottom broke, too. Is that where it was so, leaking? Yeah, on both spots. And you can see how it was not even hitting all through from here all the way up to here. It was not even hitting. Oh, jeez. And you can see the water. I don't know what in. you mean. You can see where all the water came in right here. There was definitely no leak on this motor. Not at all. Mm -hmm. That's race paint right there. That's black race paint. Now, is that oil right there? No, 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 no. no. <clears throat> If it's oil, you can put oven cleaner and it'll come out. <laughs> it is oil. But it gotta be hot. <clears throat> Damn. Throat. You gave me COVID. Mm hmm. Yeah. Maybe I'm allergic to Harley's. <laughs> Probably. All right, so what else do you need to butcher on your bike or fix on your bike? I think that should be it. I got some heads that we can hit with a hammer. Now, you want to lower the compression a little bit, you said? <laughs> Just file her down. Yes. <laughs> no. Well, maybe, actually. You're going to deburr out the, all this area through here. It'll make it breathe better, and it'll lower the compression a little bit. 10.7. I don't need it. Knock that down a little bit. Go in here and take off that edge right there. Radius that all in nice and clean. And then you, make, you put it in a milling machine, you can knock this down to about a silver dollar size. Knock off the dome slightly. It's plenty thick in there. It's got thick there. Super thick. You can knock off a quite a bit off that center point. Oh, that'll bring it down a little bit in compression so it won't keep pinging and killing your motor. But I can just like triple stack the gaskets. Yeah, you can just do that with by hand with a file if you want to. A little deep brim. You, you get your Dremel out. <laughs> Dremel a piss. I just don't hit the ring because you got to reuse these. Yeah. Those rings are brand new. Yeah, just broken in. Well, the piston's brand new. I just fresh, it's a remanufactured piston. <laughs> remanufactured. Uh oh. Remanufactured one. Alright, that's it for now. Alright. He's over he's dicking around my damn stuff while I'm on the phone. <laughs> Come to Danger. That hot, hot new items for sale. Oh, these are OBS. Oh, no, it's brand new. I just cleaned it. <laughs> these are OBS. Look, those are the 90 day warranty, too. Check that out. Oh, look, it's got gold in these things. Oh, you can't buy stuff like this just anywhere. There's a reason for that. What year are these from? 99. 98. 1200. Oh, Jesus. They fit an XL 1200S. Look at that. Oh, jeez. Date stamp. It's right there. The manufacturer date is 5 4 of 99. These are made in USA. Mm -hmm. These fit what? These fit braided plug wire. These fit XL, FX, and FL. Oh, yeah. So that means these fit a soft tail in a dyna. 
But why over here they talk about sports grooming instructions? There you go. See, it says sports grooming. Here, this, what do you got over here? You think this will fit a sports tree? Is this that? This is my uh, new alarm system for my bike. <laughs> this is my Nandy MA200. Yeah. Hey, there's your pager. Oh, look at that. It has a name on it, too. Oh, shit. It's broken. And Bill, that's Bill's pager. You mean this has been a warranty return already? 90 days. This is, a, this, a, this is not a brand new system. It's a warranty already? No, I don't believe that. Hey, look at that. That's, I don't know Crazy. what this thing's supposed to do. Where's this made in? Pages. It just, it's so serial. I must not say made anywhere. Where's this made at? Is this so old? There's no made sticker? Oh, yeah. They haven't figured those out yet. Oh, look at that. Look at that alarm. That thing's heavy. Oh, you wanted my sticker. There we go. Print that out. Everybody can put that on their bike. That'll scare everybody away. There you go. It'll match your banana FXR. Hey, this is a 90 day warranty here. Look at that. Oh, yeah, Limited. Still valid. Is that from date of purchase? Probably. Then it should still be good. Company's like, oh, oh, is the company's company even around me? Out, out of business. <laughs> yeah, well. Some guy on the streets. Oh, this is manufactured in Korea. Look oh, at yeah. that. Oh, yeah, get. It's going to make some noise. 90% modulation. Ooh, ooh. So, what year is that bike right there? Is that a Dyna Turd or is that a Soft Tail? Dyna Turd. It's got a 16 inch front wheel on it, so that makes it a Soft Tail. An FLST. That's a top it along. That's a big dog Harley there. Mm -hmm. That's a top it along vehicle. Real man bike. And it's none of them damn road turd bike. It's mm -hmm. a real bike. It ain't no 103 pan head piece of junk. No, it ain't that either. Now, did you forget to make? Where's the antenna at? You get FM. Are we shorted? And I am. Is that an accessory item we need to get? Mm-hmm. Oh, well, you can hang it on something. I think that does something besides hanging. See? Yeah, but I think it's supposed to have something else. You just put it on your handlebars. So we can get the antenna with it. Whoa, oh, look at all that! Goodness. Look at all that extra stuff we got. It's oh. all brand new. Oh, there's all kind. Oh, there's the antenna wire. Look at that. Boy, we got all kinds of good crap under there. Yeah, it hasn't even been soldered this yet. This must be something important. Is there like a wire through this? That... Look at that factory. 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 Terminated wires. Look yeah. at that. It's only the pager was used. So it's a bill. This is pager. Please stop by Harley Davidson to pick it up. <laughs> oh, it's got a roach clip on it. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. We should dial this and see if his, his pager works. Where's the phone number for this? How do you even know what number it uses? Pagers have phone numbers? Oh, the pager's off right now. It doesn't work. Oh, okay. Probably why it's not going Probably off. conserving the battery that's yeah. in it. Yeah. I'm sure that hasn't crested over. So what's worth more, the, uh, the alarm system or the plug wire? Riders Market. Premium parts, premium parts only. Come here at Tetra San Diego to buy your hot new items. Buy your for the summer of twenty one. Summer of twenty one, yeah. The COVID alarm. Is that a COVID alarm? <laughs> it, goes with, it goes off whenever somebody comes near you. Comes with a fresh push rod to go around. I don't corners. know why you don't like my push rod. What's wrong with that? Nothing. nothing. That is my that is my tool. It's for that V curve forty five. That is my tool. It's for the new revolution motor. It goes in the back of that hole right there. Oh yeah. That's how you set your chuck height. Is it for the clutch? That's what that's for. That's a Harley. That is a special tool. I think there's a part number on it from Quickware. Jim is 110 bucks. That's a genuine Quickway <laughs> tool. There you go. Yeah, I got my chain tensioner over here too I made. You like my chain tensioner? <laughs> Does it have ball bearings in it? That's the real question. Yeah, there's a ball bearing in there. That was for a... I was on a... I think it was on a big dog bike. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, it might have been on some other bike. I don't remember. Maybe it was on that Swift bike I made that for. Super hippie. Alright, so you gonna put your top end together over there? Mm-hmm. You can go go fast? It's gonna blow up in 500 miles. You want your alarm system, your plug wires to go with it? Oh, absolutely. Oh, okay, good. Top and line <laughs> gonna stuff. Girls are going to go crazy. See, when we're at closing time around here, that's what happens. We get nothing to accomplish. <laughs> I don't think that clock's accurate. The clock oh, is accurate, yeah. Only nine? The only problem is we never close this early. Yeah, that's weird. I thought it was... It needs to be like at least on the other side of tomorrow's time frame. We've been here for two hours. That's I'm doing my shy. roach clip there. You screwing my roach clip? Uh, he's going to be the he's gonna be big boy. Do you like my, my belt? Oh, that's a nice belt. Yeah. There you go. 
See, nobody's going to know what that is now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there you go. Concealable. That's, that's custom. <laughs> All right. That's it for this little this year, Gannigans in today. Shenanigans? Is that what you say? Shenanigans. Shenanigans.